hello there, true collectors. Kaifer here doing another channel update slash unboxing video, and I am also making an important announcement. It's been a while since my last update video, hasn't it? It seems like it's been forever. Couple of weeks ago I reached a big milestone, when I hit 2000 views on YouTube. 2000 views, that's an impressive number. Thanks to each and every one of you watching my videos. When I started this channel over a year ago, I never thought I could get this far. I especially want to give big thanks to everyone who have actually subscribed my YouTube channel, all 19 of you. I really appreciate you giving me a vote of confidence, like that. Also, I just hit 10 videos. But 2000 views guys? That ass a big deal to me. It really means a lot. Thanks to everyone who has supported my channel. Your help has been invaluable in making my humble review show a small success. I have few people I have to mention. First person I got to say thanks to is Dean Clayton from Headhunter Store, for really believing in me, and becoming the first sponsor of Kai for S Toy Reviews. Another person that has helped out a lot has been Hoardak84. I have to say thank you to Hoardak84, for promoting my channel more than anyone else out there. Thanks again everybody, for having patience to stick by me and continuing checking my reviews. You have no idea how grateful I am to you guys. You guys are awesome. What s in the cards for Kiffer? Of course, more reviews will be coming out in the near future. Slowly, but they will come. But I must ask you to be patient. With my physical limitations the videos just take a little more time to make. All the writing and editing I do, is done with mouth controller. So you understand why there's a long gap between videos. I cannot compete with other reviewers in quantity, but I can't try to do a better quality product. I am finally starting to find my own style of making reviews that makes me stand out from the mass future is bright for Kiefer, and I have some exciting things planned, but it's too early to talk about those plans. If you want to send me more feedback, or if you have any more questions, I will gladly answer to you guys. Also, if you want to send me some fan art or letters, they would be highly appreciated. Okay guys, we should move on to the unboxing portion of the video. I have a massive amount of stuff to go through here and we should get busy with that. I haven't even been feeling that well lately, and I have fallen behind with these haul videos, so I decided to combine all of them and just do one big unboxing bonanza box amena if you will. Let us get started with this package from my good friends at the Headhunter store. Let us see what we have here. There are some great things in here. First out of the box is this Vintage Masters, of the Universe Stratos. Really cool figure, one of my favorites. I have almost every incarnation of this character. I am only missing the Nikost action figure. For some reason IVE always had a soft spot in my heart for wing characters. It's in a pretty good shape, there are somewhere in the face, and some scratches here, and there, but overall, it looks really nice. Moving on, second fun out of the oven is another classic figure from Masters, of the Universe line, Many Faces. This one is pretty much in a perfect condition. I see nowhere or tear anywhere. Awesome, I am really happy to add this to my Motu collection. We have one more item in this package, let us see what it is. And, it is, Heeman's trusty steed, Battle Cat also from Masters, of the Universe. Pretty cool, or what? It also looks to be in a good shape, it has some playwear, but colors are still bright, and the saddle belt is intact. That s all from Headhunter Store this time. Thanks again 14 Clayton for all this cool stuff, he is a good friend. I really appreciate it. Check him out, there is a lot of great stuff there, I cannot recommend him enough. And I am not saying that just because he has a sponsor. 
they have a lot of awesome, awesome stuff, and he has an amazing guy to deal with. If you're looking for action figures, accessories, or play sets, he has got stuff from Aliens to Star Wars, and from Marvel to Masters of the Universe. Anything and everything you can think of, he has probably got it. You should visit their website, if you haven't he already, and if you are visiting in Helsinki, go and check out their store. Like always, you can find the link in the description below. Moving on to next one. This one comes from a new friend at the Figure and Movie Memorabilia Collectors Facebook group, Sorry Foreign Friends. It has in Finnish, Janjo Kiranda. He also has a cool YouTube channel you should check, under the name Jape Darth Predator Freakout Collector. You can find link to that, and to Figure and Movie Memorabilia Collectors Facebook group, below the video. Okay then, let us get this bad boy open. First item here is Star Wars Vintage Collection Bomb Vimden. Awesome little figure that beautifully captures the character's look from the movie. Next up, we have another Cantina patron, from New Hope, Dr. Avazon. Another really cool figure. And finally a Das Prune Face, or Orima Arco, like he is known today. Really nice. All of these figures are practically brand new, and have unpunched cards. I also got these at a really good price. I am really happy I got these figures, you can never have enough Star Wars aliens. This next package actually comes from a member of Finnish Toy Collectors Forum, AR2-4000. Let us see what has hiding inside this box. This is kind of cool actually, we have some masters of the universe classics with mailer boxes, and all. I am gonna get these out of the boxes, so you can get a better look at them. First off it has Merman. Next we have Clawful. This next one I have been looking for a long time, it's Beast Man. I paid 50 euros, 68 dollars, for this, which is a hell of a deal. It goes for insane prices on eBay. This is so damn cool. Beast Man is an important character to me personally, it was actually my first Moto action figure. Thanks for giving me a such a good price on this, this is awesome. That seems to be all from AR2-4000. Let us how many boxes I still have to go through. It looks like I only have two packages left. Both are recent every perhazes. First one comes from every user 760 Diane. Boxes are in pretty rough shape, but I knew that going and I did get a pretty good deal on them, and I was going to open all of these anyway, so no buggy. These figures will be used in my Jabba's Palace diorama. It has been work in progress for a long long time, but now it's finally taking a big leap forward. First up, it's Jabba's head of security, F. Antman, this is really cool. There's a lot of nice sculpted details, and the paint application is really well done. It's gonna be one of the highlights in my diorama. Then we have a mixed lot of miscellaneous creatures from the palace. There's Bomar Monk, Quol Cabashite, and Bubo. There's some serious sun damage on the blister bubble, and one of the legs has snapped. Maybe my brother can fix the leg. Also in here, we have a manaman with salacious crumb. Another great action figure with a beautiful sculpt. Skeleton accessory will be a great addition to the Ranker Cave. Last and least, it's Ulo and Salacious. I already have enough of these in my collection. I will probably sell, or trade this. The last thing we have here is also a every purchase. It comes from username Antithesis56. I am really excited about finally getting these. Inside this box we have both of the Walmart exclusive Max Rebo band box sets from 2007. First one includes the backup singers, Joe Jauza, and the harmonica player, Rapper Tuni. And the another box set includes Cy Noodles, the horn section and Max Rebo himself. 
these box sets are really cool and it's awesome to finally get the complete Max Rebo band in the diorama. There you go, guys. That will wrap it up for this unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed watching me opening and sharing all this awesome stuff with you as much as I did. Thanks to everyone for all this awesome stuff I got from you. I really appreciate it. Remember to leave a comment and give a big thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Alternatively, you can follow me on Blogspot, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find the links in the description beneath the video. Hope to see you in the next video. And remember, you're never too old to play with your toys.